So in this yellow backpack, I have an inflatable sofa. Now I've reviewed an inflatable sofa about a year and a half ago from the same company Aerogogo. That was a green one, this is a yellow one. This actually is two in one, this can double up as a single bed. I'm really excited to showcase this, but at the time of this video, this is now launched on Indiegogo, they are crowdfunding for this, and you can get a really super early bird price if you do check out the link in the description. Once this does go live and it's more available to the general public, it retails at $299. But go ahead and check the latest pricing information on Indiegogo. You can get this up to around $159 if you get it very quickly. And I'm excited to showcase how this works and how it can self-inflate, how quickly it can get up and running and what types of things you can use it for. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so you can see this actually comes in three pieces. You have yourself the footrest, then you have the main sofa base, and then you have the armrest. These are all connected together with the sticky Velcros all along the corners and the main sides, you can see there. And the armrest you can attach with the buckle clip just there on the front two corners of the main base. So it's very straightforward to set up. And this comes with a removable self-inflating pump. So this actually can come out and you will need to take this out to inflate the base and the armrest itself. This is going to take about four and a half minutes in total for all three parts. And that is actually split up in the separate different timings. So you have one minute to do the footrest, you have two minutes for the main base, and then one and a half minutes for the armrest. Altogether, that's about four and a half minutes of inflating time. So one thing I do have to mention is that you don't necessarily have to remove the armrest from the base to inflate it. You can just leave it connected with the Velcro straps and the buckles on top of it and then just inflate that together via the separate holes in each of them for the air pump. This comes with attachments for the removable air pump. I'm going to be attaching these to actually inflate the other parts and you can see it also comes with a USB-C charging cable for the air pump itself. But you can also use these to inflate any other type of inflatable that you have around the house and it doesn't necessarily need to be used with the Aero sofa. So let's talk about this air pump here. So on the main base, you do have the air pump inside here, which is the place to store it. You twist it open to remove the air pump out. Like so, pops out very easily. You can see you have your power button to turn this on Then you've got the main compartments for the inflating and deflating. To inflate it, you need to connect this with one of the attachments. So I'm going to connect it like this. And then in the black hole here, you have two compartments. So you have a smaller one that's just there at the front. This is to inflate each of the different sections. When you close this, you actually have a larger one that you can unscrew. This is used for deflation. So you, you have to remember the differences between both of these holes. So the large one where the entire piece comes up is to deflate. So I'm going to screw this back on. Okay, so to do this step by step, to do the base first, you need to put the air pump back into its main compartment with the button facing outwards. And then you have to just make sure the black valve is completely closed. So there's no air leakage and this will inflate the base first and then we will put the armrest on top of this once that's finished. So let's go ahead and press the button. There you go. Once you feel like it's reached its maximum inflation, you can just press the button. There won't be any air leak and then you're ready to now move on to the next step. But to do that, you will now have to remove the air pump. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And you saw how quick that was for the base. So we'll just leave this open because we will put this back into the compartment afterwards. The next step is let's get the armrests and attach it on top of the base. And then we will inflate that using the little orange nozzle that we will insert into the air pump.
then you can remove the air pump you close the valve and that is the armrest done and then you can make any manual adjustments to make sure it is plush against the edges of the sofa so let's move that to the side and then the final one will do the same step for the footrest and you saw how quick I inflated all of these pieces so all in all no more than four four and a half minutes that is such a nice and easy process so then you remove the nozzle and then with the orange button facing outwards you put this back into the compartment make sure you don't make the mistake of putting it the other way around otherwise it will be quite hard and difficult to take this back out of the compartment because you need this little handle to pull this out so you slot it back in and then you close the lid and that's it the process is as easy as that so let's talk about some of the key specs in terms of the material this is made of plush polyester and rugged pvc which makes it the perfect material to use both indoors and outdoors now this is ip68 waterproof as well so if it does rain not a problem in fact you can actually chuck this into a swimming pool and use this as a float so if you want to just lie down on it and you're just floating along the swimming pool or if you take it by the ocean you can actually jump into the ocean with this if you'd like this is absolutely fine to take on all of nature's forces outdoors so no matter where you do set this up you can be confident knowing that this is very high quality material now this only weighs five and a half kilograms which is extra light so you can just pick this up and move this around very easily as you can see here but not only that this is actually strong enough to have a max payload of 300 kilograms now you can probably fit two people sitting on it like a sofa and if you're just going to use it as a bed just one person so i don't feel like there's going to be any scenario where you'll exceed that 300 kilograms of max payload this is more than capable to handle multiple people using it at the same time now i do recommend that you do make sure that the air pump is charged as much as you can it does have a 2000 milliamp hour battery and the motor itself you can see how quickly this inflated this is around 30,000 rpm motor inside it and it just made it up and running very very quickly so if you want to deflate it and pack it away maybe make it very portable take it with you in your backpack then you can do that very easily knowing that the inflation time is so fast with that air pump and the motor inside it that you can just get up and running very quickly no matter where you'd like to move this around the house or into various different locations so let's go ahead and test it out now this does actually come in one color only which is yellow and in fact this is very comfortable so I can see myself using this watching TV maybe playing some video games on my PlayStation and just you know using it as a very convenient way and a space saving way to have a little bit of additional nice colored furniture around your home now I've got a nice projector screen behind me but I don't actually have a sofa to sit on so I do have to sit on my bed and sometimes you just don't want to go into your bed maybe during the daytime and I wanted to find a way just to have a nice little setup in front of the actual projector screen and this is going to be the perfect use case scenario for me so if that's something that you would also like to do around your house then that is also a great option if I have some guests coming to sleep over then this can be converted into a bed very easily so let me quickly show you how to do that and we will be utilizing the footrest as a headrest so first of all detach the arms so you can remove this so you have a velcro on this side of the footrest and a velcro on this end of the base put it like that put down your quilt your bedding your pillows and there you go you have yourself an inflatable bed that any of your guests can use whilst they're staring over at your house so those two in one options of utilizing this both as a sofa and a bed you can consider this as a sofa bed i think that is just a very great thing to have let me know what you would use this for but for now let me just showcase how it would look by setting this up with some nice little pillows and furniture and just how it looks around the house so in fact if you don't like the yellow color or it doesn't fit the aesthetic of your home all you need to do is just throw a little blanket or a sheet over it and just have it whatever color you like so you can decorate this 
in many ways as well. You don't necessarily need to leave it open as its original yellow color. So I've got this gray blanket thrown over it. Get whatever pillows you want and just make it match your environment. And here you can see I've set this up as a bed ready for someone to sleep in. So multiple different use cases makes this very versatile and makes it even more valuable for the price that you do pay for it. So this is a really great option as well. And you can just pack it away just as easily as you can set it up, which is one of the key points about the Aero sofa. And this also looks really good outdoors. So if you have some parties in your back garden, in your yard, then you can just inflate this and set it up for additional seating for all of your guests. And this color actually in the summer will look very, very good. And it just complements the outdoors. It goes really great with green grass as well. Not just in your back garden, but if you take this to the beach, that will also go great on the sand. And if you can take it for camping, wherever you like, it's going to be really awesome to have as just a sofa in your backpack with additional seating for all of your trips. Of course, you may need to clean it. It's very easily washable as it is waterproof as well. So you can do a bit of a hand wash if you do get some mud and dirt onto it. But that's absolutely fine for the type of material you have. So really impressed with the outdoor usage on this as well as the indoor usage. And if you're ready to deflate the sofa, then it's simple. You take one of the attachments and you put it onto the top side of the air pump where the power button is. And then you put it in, turn it on, and it will start deflating and getting the air out of each of these pieces. And this is just as quick as it is as inflating as it is deflating. And that is very convenient when you are ready to pack this away. So that's it guys. Hopefully you found this review useful of the inflatable Aero sofa by Aero Gogo. Do check out the link in the description if you are interested in buying this. Make sure to subscribe. I have plenty of really cool reviews out like this every week. Make sure to like this video and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.